All right, hey guys, what's up? This tutorial is for a friend uh, demonstrating how to use Lunar Magic and graphics file and EX graphics files. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up Lunar Magic. Uh, navigate to your ROM. I have a clean ROM here that is a tutorial that has nothing done to it yet. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is figure out what it is that you would like to change. Uh, so for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be changing the Yoshi coin, uh, the Dragon coin. I know I will not be utilizing the Yoshi coin at all in my hack that I'm building. Um, so you want to figure out the easiest way. You want to figure out like where the Yoshi coin is posted, right? Um, there's not really a super easy way that I have found that will tell you like, hey, the Yoshi coin is on graphics file 14. But uh, one sort of easy way that you want to do uh, is click your red super graphics bypass dialog uh, mushroom up here. And you'll see that for this for this level and pretty much every single level, all your foreground objects are file 14, file 17, and then our background objects are 1B, 15, sprites are 0, 1, 13, and 20. You'll see 0 and 1 on every single level um, for the sprites. So we know for the, the dragon coin is not a sprite. It's a foreground object, so it has to be in 14 or 17. So what you want to do, at that point is navigate to where you have YYCHR saved on your computer. Open YYCHR. You want to export all graphics files. Click your regular mushroom, which is a quick extract of your GFX files, and your blue mushroom, which is a quick extract of your EX GFX files. Within YYCHR then, you want to go open and you want to navigate to the graphics file of where the ROM is saved. So my ROM is saved on my desktop, which means that my graphics folder will there be on my desktop. Let's open up file 17. We're going to start there. I think that's where it is. Um, I don't see the Yoshi coin there. So we're going to switch and we'll open up file 14 back to this and you can see the dragon coin right there you'll notice that the palette makes it kind of hard to tell what it is uh one solution to that is to open up your palette editor export your palette to a file save it as whatever palette name you want to call it i'm gonna call it level 105 because that is the level we're working on so then go back to yychr palette rgb editor you're going to want to go find that that you just saved level 105 and there you can see that it loads a palette that's really clean and easy to see so like i said we know that we're not going to be using the yoshi coin so we can delete the yoshi coin out and then we can come in here and we can custom draw whatever it is we want to draw so for this tutorial we're going to make a death block so you can draw it like that, you can draw a big square, we're going to make it a, we'll make it black, and you can come in here and edit your palettes however you want to edit them. Whatever you save your uh, palette as in this area will affect your It will affect the color of uh, how it saves it on the on the ROM itself. So keep that in mind. And you can make it however you want. This is not uh, kind of looks like a tooth. I don't like that. Let's back up here. So hey, we got a nice skull here. So let's just kind of copy that skull, right? 
So this. We'll do this. Step it over. Up. Over, over, over. Too wide. Let's erase this. White, so it's like two blocks. Step down, step down, step down, step down. Down that many. It's going to be too wide, I think, but it'll work for now. Down, over. Over, nope, over to there. Eh, decent. Grab our nose. I don't think that's the right shade. Definitely that color. We'll put that there, then we'll grab color. We'll make the eyes. Don't need to make my. My actual skull a little bit wider. So you hand draw your skull in like this. Something like that. Not perfect, but decent enough. Keep it the same color palette. We can come in here and uh, make the actual block itself, whatever color we want around it. So we'll do this. And to make it faster, we'll color it this way with the rectangles I have to click some individual pixels do something like that and then we can add in uh, some styling on the corners or something if we want Something kind of like that. Section here in the hard coated white so that it doesn't change. I want it to change this. Now. Well, it's almost got them all. But like that, so now when you change down through there, the block color will change, but the actual skull itself will not. Anyway, so then what you want to do once you have this done, you want to go uh, File, Save As. You want to move it from your graphics file to your EX graphics file. And you're going to call it EXGFX, and it has to be something above 80. So we're going to call this one uh, 100 for the purposes of the tutorial. Save it in the original size. Overflowing data will be lost. That's fine. All right, so then when you come back to here, you'll notice that we still have a dragon coin. So you want to click your little Click Insert Graphics and EX GFX to ROM Reload Graphics. We still have a super or a dragon coin there. Why do we still have a dragon coin there? Why didn't that work? Should not be. Uh, 
Oh, I know why. Duh. We're using EX graphics. So once you do that, you have to bypass that, right? So this dragon coin was saved on file 14, I believe it was. We can double check and make sure. File open. Go back to our graphics folder. We'll load up file 14. Change it to this. There's our dragon coin. All right, so enable bypass. We're going to change file 14 to file 100. And there's our death block. You'll notice at the bottom it's like double sided. So I would delete that out. Go map 16 editor, grab just the individual top of the block. You'll see it says top of a Yoshi coin. To make that into a death block, you would then, uh, I would bring it down here, make a new map 16 spot for it, which will let you also change your palette color. Flip it if we want to flip it. I didn't mean uh, so you can come in here and you can change your palette color if you want it to, so you want it to be that. Um, change it from an act as 2D to a 12F, which will make it act as a black piranha plant. It acts as a muncher now. So we delete that out. Grab our new muncher death block. We'll run an emulator to test it. Fast forward. Go to level 105, Yoshi's Island 1. Dodge that. And, oh, you'll notice that it's not there. But it does kill us when we touch it. So what had happened was we didn't save our map 16 file. So anytime you make a new map 16 graphic, you have to come back in here and save your map 16 to the ROM. Then we'll come over here and run our emulator. Fast forward so we can get to the level quicker. Run in the level. And there is our black muncher. When we touch it, we die. Kicks us back out, just like normal. And that's all there is to it. That's how you use your EX graphics files. The benefit of doing it this way is that if I want to go to say level 106 right and let's say that I decide I do want a Yoshi coin in level 106 you'll notice even when I come here my Yoshi coins back right so if I want to insert a Yoshi coin I have a Yoshi coin and I no longer have a death block so if I decide that I want the death block here I have to come back to my little red mushroom foreground one change that back to file 100 and there's my death block again uh, if it's an item that you know that you are going to be use, utilizing frequently uh, you can obviously overwrite the original graphics file so let's say that I know that I'm not going to want to use a Yoshi coin at all anywhere in my hack ever uh, and that I want death blocks all the time uh, the easiest way to do that is to go back into your YYCHR file. We're going to open up uh, that death block file that we have here. There it is, the one we made. So what you would do is go file, save as. You're going to change it back to a graphics file. So you're just going to overwrite file 14, which is where the Yoshi coin was. Replace it. Save it normal sized. Reinsert. And now, everywhere that we go, you're going to have this death block. So it doesn't matter. Oh, I don't care. No matter what level we load up, we load up level 12. Test level. There it is. Every single level we go to, there is going to be a death block that will act as a black piranha plant. So two different options to use depending on which way you want to go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you uh, want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Go check out the Twitch page, twitch.tv slash gaming with Grumpy. I stream there occasionally through the week. Mainly stream on Facebook gaming, fb.gg slash gaming with Grumpy. Follow me there as well. We have a Twitter page. Uh, appreciate it guys and we'll see you next time.